Consumer Beings. I run a consulting business where I provide workshops and advice to organisations regarding entrepreneurship. So I help people and their employees use startup techniques and entrepreneurial thinking for their internal projects. I've previously been a corporate lawyer and my background is an IP specialist in commercial law, but I really had the opportunity to fall in love with startups and the way that they operate when I was director of Venture Dorm, which is an entrepreneurial bootcamp program. So through that and through forming how to educate startups, I got involved with Startup Weekend uh, and have acted as a mentor for the past year, I think the year before that as well. And just have found it a really rewarding and fun, super fun experience. And I really um, love meeting all the startups. I love working with the other mentors as well. I love my favourite part of it is the Friday night when people are pitching and talking about all their crazy ideas. Um, and I, the vibe of it is just really inspiring. I think, and I see so many people that are just willing to get out there and give it a go and I find it really inspiring for myself thinking well they can do it they'll put themselves out there and it helps me put myself out there. Is that thing as a mentor for Startup Weekend I think one of the hardest things for participants is and they've already done the hardest part which is putting their idea out there but then going and talking to the actual customers and their users that is that's really hard for anyone I think it's Oren one of the like, coordinators of Startup Weekend says no one wants to hear that their baby's ugly and it is so true like you don't want to go and talk to someone and say I've got this idea and then people to diss it um, it's really hard to hear but it's so important to get that feedback so so it's so important to get that feedback from the actual people who are going to use your product and until you speak to them and learn that and through part of startup um, you you don't really know whether it's it's just your idea and you don't really know whether it's going to be successful or not so what I like to as part of a mentor yes I'm happy to help people with their thoughts about IP because I have a background in that but I also like to encourage people to take risks and to not really take on board or care well, you should care but not to take it personally what people say you need to detach yourself from your idea so just get out there and talk to people and, and in terms of being a mentor obviously the reason most people do it is that we get more out of it than I think that uh, the startups get out of it as well I'm so inspired by people's ideas and especially I love working with the techies and the programmers and the coders and all those types of people I'm in awe of what they do and I know that some of them sort of feel like uh, maybe they don't <laughs> much to offer but they think well this is the business world and how can I survive in there, how can I have a company. Um, you so can, like what you do is awesome already and like I said the skills that you have are just amazing. Um, and you just go out there and start in the end, I think if you look at the founders of some of the really big things, um, you know, those people didn't know what they were doing to start with either. So you just start and you learn along the way. You're not, just don't be scared. Just have, and have a really great time to learn.